Hello, I'm Toby Ryan, and in this video, I'll show you how to create stylized photo presets using color adjustments in Pixelmator Pro. We'll focus on a popular cinematic orange and cyan color theme. Let's dive in. First, create a new collection to save and organize your custom presets using the three dot button here. Inside these color adjustments, we'll navigate to white balance. We can use the ML button for quick white balance or use a clever trick to achieve maximum color separation by adjusting this slider manually. To make this trick easy, temporarily slide the saturation slider to the max. This extreme helps the eyes see when color separation happens in an image. When all colors look to be visibly vivid and separate, that's what we want. Now reset saturation by double clicking the slider. This trick gives us a great starting point to build color themes from. Next up, contrast. For this, we'll use the curves adjustment tool and apply the popular RGB S-curve. Click to add points here and here, moving these points up or down to form an S-shaped curve. This adds tonal contrast flexibly as opposed to the traditional contrast slider. Adding another point here and then pushing the darkest point up gives a vintage film fade. Apply as much as you want. Now we'll selectively consolidate our colors into a color theme using the selective color adjustment. We can push colors into that orange and cyan cinematic world with the hue slider. Start with yellow and then move it towards orange. Increase saturation and brightness of the color to taste and preserve details. We'll do the same with orange. And now move blue towards cyan. Not too complex, and this is subjective, so match the settings or move it to where you feel looks best. It's like baking cookies. If you want more sugar, add some in. We'll continue color grading using the color balance adjustment. This lets us splash in colors into particular tonal ranges, such as shadows, midtones, and highlights. Cool those shadows down to cyan and then bring back some shadow detail if needed. Next, we'll warm the midtones towards orange. I think that looks good. If you prefer using sliders for this purpose, they are right here in this menu for micro control. Lastly, we can recover even more tonal details using the highlights or shadow sliders with the lightness adjustment here. And we're done. Click that plus button to save your new preset. Every image will be different. Some presets will work better than others, but each image will require your creative intuition and ideas. That is the beauty of this art form. Use color theory and explore new color combinations and have fun with the process. I really appreciate you stopping by. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, but more importantly, have fun and find the image in you. Thanks for watching.